Hi, my name is Mwenden Gao and this is Life in Style. So today we are at the Carnival Grounds for the Safaricom International Jazz Festival and this is a special edition which is in celebration of International Jazz Day and even more special because we are celebrating African jazz. So we have a lot of artists here today from Africa as well as um, especially from here in Kenya. The headlining acts are the amazing Paco Seri from Ivory Coast and the legendary Sheikh um, Tidian Sheikh from Mali. And of course, Kenyan acts that we already know and love. We have the Nairobi Horns Project, we have Shamsi, we have Kato Change, we have Kabuda. As you can see, I am dressed in all African attire. I'm in my Ankara and I have my Kyondo bag here with me today because it is, like I said, celebration of African jazz. So far, the vibes are amazing, the people, everything is just beautiful and as you can see, it's been raining in Nairobi, but today it's so sunny and just perfect. So I'm really looking forward to having a great day and celebrating African jazz. The Safaricom International Jazz Festival is hands down the biggest festival in Kenya and becoming a notable fixture on the African festival circuit. Started in 2014, Safaricom Jazz has transformed the jazz scene in Kenya while also transforming the lives of the kids of Ghetto Classics who are the beneficiaries of the proceeds of the festival. The setup was fantastic as always, with plenty of room for picnic blankets as well as the option of chairs for those who preferred it. There were also vendors for those who wanted to shop as well as to buy food and drinks. So I got myself a quick bite in the form of a chicken shawarma which was delicious as well as filling which was great because I needed all the energy I could get because I came to dance. <laughs> is one of the most talented and prolific artists we have on the Kenyan scene. A self-taught guitarist that is not afraid to experiment and push boundaries, his repertoire is very impressive, especially since he is still in his 20s. I had a chance to catch up with Kato during the festival. Yeah, it was a good sound, it's a good crowd. Um, I can't complain, I really look forward to seeing the other Kenyans perform. So far, so good. What is African jazz behind this tent on my right? Which wow, is your left. Um, we have the Masoko and the Safaricom customer it has where you can get some assistance. The harmony we also have of Europe. A fantastic food um, courtesy of the but the rhythm where you of can here. get some fantastic African bites, jazz something is, to drink. If you'd like a CD, there are CDs on sale for some of our musicians. With These will African be found percussive. to my left, um, which is behind it, this tent. It has so right much here. more soul for me. Um, just because of that rhythm and the percussion. Um, and do the repetition. And like, 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 and Jazz is now jazz if you can't share it. So I was here with my friends Lulu Akaki as well as Bonnet Orinda and we had a great time. Shamsi music are a favorite when it comes to Kenyan jazz bands and that is with good reason because not only do they create beautiful music but they also have a knack for storytelling which is infused in their performances making them very memorable to audiences. Next was Jazz Brigade featuring Dorota and Hendrix. They are from Poland. The set was very interesting because it was a mix of Polish sounds with African sounds and I especially enjoyed their take on the work of one of my favorite classical composers of all time, Frederick Chopin.
Nairobi Hans project were the last Kenyan act on stage for the day and they reminded everyone why they are possibly one of the best jazz bands in the scene right now with an energy filled set. I did get to go backstage and hang out with Shake Tilly and Sick as well as some of the members of the other groups including Laka Nyaga from Shamsi. My name is Laka Oidaka with the band Shamsi Music and we're here at the Safari Com International Jazz Festival, International Jazz Day Celebrations! So cool! What is African jazz to you? Wow, African jazz is free expression of African identity. That's, that's basically it. Because jazz really is self-expression. It's self-expression music um, and how it started out was with minority groups. And um, yeah, that's, we want to now represent Africa in that space of, of, of just uh, great music, great vibes, great culture, music culture. Um, and that's what African jazz is. Sheikh Tidian Sek is a Malian musician who has written for and played with world famous African musicians. He's also worked with pop, hip hop, and alternative rock bands. So I am backstage here at Safaricom Jazz International Festival. I've just bumped into Sheikh Tidian Sek, which is so amazing. I'm really excited to see what he has up his sleeve for us tonight. Um, you can hear right now, it's a Nairobi Horns Project our stage, They're the last Kenyan act for the day. It's been a really amazing day, we've had such amazing acts on stage including Kato Change who is so amazing and of course um, Shamsi Music who are one of my favorites and of course a crowd favorite as well with the amazing music and the storytelling that they put into their performances that I really enjoy. So we're basically getting to the, the main headliners of the night, which is Paco Seri and Cheikh Tidi and Sheikh. I'm really, really excited to celebrate African jazz. Afro jazz is what I did with Hank Jones. It's the jazz inspired by Africa. Mm -hmm. It's Afro jazz for me. Mm -hmm. so, Jazz, it's like world music. I fight, fight against world music because mm. they say world music, no relate to African. And they have classical, mm -hmm. and they have pop, they have iron beat, they have all are from Africa. Mm. Why now suddenly we are doing world music? They make pressure, oh, how can we definite your music? Okay, I'm Afro jazz. Mm -hmm. For them to leave me in peace, you know, jazz. But it can be a style of my country, Mali, manding music, meeting, cha 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 Headlining act of the day was world renowned jazz fusion drama Paco Seri from Ivory Coast. Paco Seri has had an illustrious career working with legends such as the late Bina Simone, Manu Dibango, Salif Keita, Ray Lemma, the late Papa Wemba, among others. Yeah. 